Good morning everyone. As you can tell behind me, the background has changed. We're back in Reading now. I left the family home a couple of days ago. Um, hopefully we're about two weeks out from moving back to Caversham or a potential training base where we can start training together as a unit on the water. That'll be good. I uh, haven't seen any of the guys since March, I guess, when we went into lockdown. I've um, been doing a lot of home training since then, as a lot of you guys have as well. Um, we actually started training about two weeks ago, but it's super, super light, nothing crazy, sort of one, maybe two sessions a day, depending on how we're feeling. Uh, and I think the reason for that is if we rewind an entire year, I think this time last year, we, I don't know if we would have been in Austria yet. So we're technically starting our new Tokyo season. Uh, almost, I guess, two months ahead of the last one. So as a squad, we were looking really strong moving towards the original Tokyo dates, but now that it's been delayed an entire year, we'll look even stronger having had another two months worth of training leading into it. So that's super positive. And as an athlete, you know, the training is the toughest part, but you train as hard as you can to try and maximize your chances of winning those medals on the day when it counts, which is usually in the summer. And if I get another two months to train that a little bit harder, to maybe try and edge out a bow ball ahead of the opposition, then I will take it. Um, you know, it's you commit so much of your life to that goal. What's an extra two months in the grand scheme of things? Um, but yeah, I thought I'll make a new video just to update you guys on what's going on within the world of rowing, especially British rowing itself. Um, hopefully in two weeks time, we'll be back on the water training as a squad. Uh, as I said, I'm now back in Reading, sort of two weeks, not quarantine, but getting used to our sort of our training homes again, training environments. Um, I guess for people who live with other people, getting used to your housemates again and getting back in that flow. Typical British weather, it's raining outside. Um, I've just got out of bed, I've got a wash going on behind me, trying to get some kit nice and clean, ready to go for the next couple of days. Um, and I just thought I'd make a video, update you guys, and show you what I get up to currently uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. So first up, and how you start every day with breakfast. Most of us start our mornings with long steady state sessions. If you have no fuel in your body, you're not gonna have a good session. So always get in your breakfast. Don't just have a cup of tea or a cup of coffee or like even a slice of toast. Eat more, eat more, eat more, eat more. Give your body the energy, give your body the fuel to be able to produce the best scores every session you do. You know, eat for the session you're going into, and then after the session, eat to recover from that session. So, rambling on again, I'm gonna crack on with some breakfast and I'll catch you after that. some porridge with a coffee, lots of fruit, lots of carbohydrates, a scoop of protein powder. I'll probably crack on with my training session in about an hour, but for now I'm sat at my desk in front of my laptop. I'll probably answer a few emails, but I'll probably spend most of the next hour just sort of watching YouTube videos. Um, just gradually waking up, enjoying my breakfast, drink my coffee, and um, crack on and do my yoga, which is currently right next to me. So. I'll see you at the ergo. So that's the ergo done. Um, nice bit of steady state to start the day. I actually started it quite a lot later than I thought it would. It is now half past 12 and we're just having our second meal of the day. For me today it's going to be an omelette. The eggs haven't gone in yet, obviously. Um, 
lots of veggies in my omelets these days. I've got um, one whole yellow pepper, one whole white onion, a um, couple of cloves of garlic, one whole red chili, uh, half a pack of spinach, and then to that I'm probably going to have about 300 grams of egg whites and one or two whole eggs depending on, I don't know, spray at the moment. Um, so that's my lunch, I'll get that down me and then I'll either head to the gym and do some weights or I'm thinking about doing a second ergo with some bursts in it. I haven't done bursts or anything above sort of rate 19 for about three weeks now. Um, so that might be a bit of fun or I might do both, we'll see. back from the gym as you saw I actually ended up doing running um, obviously I went there with the intention of either doing weights or an ergo sprints I didn't end up doing either um, fortunately there were only two rowing machines in the gym and they were both taken and uh, two sit down bikes and they were also taken but luckily there was an abundance of treadmills um, and those who know me know that I don't typically run mainly because of my knee I've got a dodgy left knee that swells up massively when I run but I thought you know, I guess if it's indoors on a treadmill, you can sort of control the environment a bit more. The surface isn't going to change too much. You can control the speed. The temperature's not going to change. Um, so I felt a little bit safer and I thought, you know, I've got two weeks. Um, I might try and incorporate a little bit more training and see if that helps. I've really enjoyed walking a lot during lockdown. You know, I think walking is very underrated as a form of exercise and mobility. Um, I definitely found it beneficial during lockdown adding in sort of an hour walk every evening and so now I'm just sort of building progressing from an hour walk to sort of a half an hour run so that's what I did today I just did 30 minutes steady jogging pace and at the end I threw in um, five by 30 seconds on 30 seconds off sprint work um, just sort of yeah Jürgen calls it get you a bit more athletic um, and sort of the fast twitch muscle fibers go I mean you're a bit more explosive so that was my intent and my thought process um, I've just made some food which is uh, two wraps two whole meal wraps with um, a turkey burger in each a handful of stir fry veg and some hot sauce so pretty simple um, but it is filling um, again lots of protein lots of carbohydrates lots of veggies and I'll eat this and now I'll give myself a good couple of hours before I go back to the gym and I will do some weights. I'm going to see how my knee feels. If it's a little bit puffy and a little bit sore, then I'll probably end up doing a lot of my leg weights on the machines. Um, but either way, I'll get a good burn on and um, that should be it for the day. So I'll finish this, go to the gym, do some leg weights, have some dinner and it's business as usual really. So it's just come up to 7.30 in the evening. Um, I'm about to have my dinner. I've been humming and ahhing about this weight session for a good sort of 90 minutes. I was planning on going at six o'clock, but the gym I'm using currently has an app and it tells you how busy the gym is at any particular time. When I went early, it was about 60% and it was pretty full. But for the last sort of 90 minutes, every time I check it, it's 90% plus. So it's just not worth going. You know, it's gonna be, full of people and it's going to be queuing for weights and it's just not worth risking it with sort of social distancing still in place in gyms. Um, so I'm skipping on it basically, long story short, and it's not the end of the world. It wasn't on the program. It would have been a nice optional extra, but um, I've had a good chunk of training today so far with the ergo and the run plus sprints. Um, diet's been pretty healthy. I've just, this is my dinner. So again, it's more vegetables. There's two chicken breasts in there and a load of hot sauce. Um, I've actually just got out the uh, the new waffle iron, uh, which I've been using a lot recently. And um, I'll end the video here, but the waffles will be featuring in a future video. Um, so look out for those. It's a really good recipe, super healthy, high protein good for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. You know, pudding is good for any time of the day. But um, I'm gonna wrap it up for today. So I hope you enjoyed the video. It's a brief update on sort of where we are currently as a squad and myself individually, what we're looking to do over the next sort of two weeks, 
and um, bit by bit the training load will increase so that morning ergo will get longer that second supplementary session will get longer and there will be an extra weight session. I might just have to switch the sessions around so I can sort of get in the gym when it's not very busy. Um, but it's a 24 hour gym, so really I can go any time of the day, but you know, you're sacrificing recovery sort of the later into the evening you go. I think for me, seven o'clock is the latest I will leave it. Um, try and get in there, do an hour session, just demolish a muscle group and get out. At least then I've got the evening dinner and sort of the whole night to recover before the aerobic session first thing in the morning. But um, hope you enjoyed the video. Once again, I'm rambling. If you'd enjoyed the video and you've enjoyed the other videos that I've created, make sure you do subscribe, it does help a lot. Leave a like, drop a comment below. Let me know what videos you wanna see in the future. Um, obviously, I'm not releasing every week like I was at the very beginning of lockdown. I'm sort of running out of, out of ideas. So anything you have will be very helpful to me. So drop it down in the comments, head over to Instagram, Twitter, whatever, I'm on all of them, so just message me, I'll message you back. Um, but have a great evening, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Yeah.